All right, so we finally got news for MLB The Show 23. We know the release dates. We know who is on the main cover, as you can see on screen now. We know who's on the collector's edition, and we know what comes inside all of the digital deluxe and normal editions as well. As we can see here, Jazz Chisholm is the cover art player for MLB The Show 23. And while I can understand why some people would want either, let's say, Aaron Judge or Julio Rodriguez to be on the cover, I'm perfectly fine with Jazz being the cover player. And if we're being completely honest, I don't think it necessarily matters too much who is on this cover because of who we got on the collector's edition. Whether you love or hate him, we got Derek Jeter finally back in MLB The Show. Jeter was on the Jimmy Fallon show to basically sit there and talk for a bit. And then just a little bit after it hit February 2nd, they talked about the game and announced that Jeter was, of course, coming back and was the cover art for the collector's edition. I'm super stoked to finally be able to use Jeter in MLB The Show again. There were two specific things that I wanted before we get MLB The Show 23. This was one of them. If I can get the other one, which is a little bit of like a revamp in franchise, then I might love this game. But I, I really want to see what they do with, with franchise. I'll probably still get it either way because I plan on making content for it. But if it ends up giving us that good franchise, I'll be really happy. But since we've talked about the standard editions and the digital deluxe and the collector's editions, let's actually show you what you get from each of them. Now, it doesn't matter which edition that you get. If you do digitally pre-order the game, whether it's the standard edition or the digital deluxe edition, whatever it is, you will get a free gold choice pack. However, if you do the digital deluxe, you will also get the early access that starts on the 24th of March. However, if we do take a look at the standard edition for PS4 or the Xbox One or probably Nintendo Switch, then it's going to be 60 bucks. You'll get the game and you'll get 5,000 stubs. If we look at the standard edition for the PS5, and I'm going to guess the Xbox Series S or X, you'll get the game, you'll get 10,000 stubs instead of 5,000 stubs, and then you also get five of the show packs. But of course, most of us are probably going to be looking at the big stuff, as in the Digital Deluxe and the Captain Edition. If you get the Digital Deluxe Edition, you will get the entire game, you'll get the entitlement for both the new and old generation, and of course, you'll get early access. But inside of the game, we're going to get one Captain's Choice Pack, which who knows what that could be. That could obviously be them saying, hey, there's going to be more Captains in this game. You know, maybe somebody like a Jason Veritek, a David Wright. Who knows? Then there will be a to be announced themed choice pack and a themed uniform choice pack. Unlike in years prior, they usually had like those themed packs already decided, but I guess they don't have that exact pack decided yet, or they know what they're going to do, but they're going to hold off on announcing exactly what it is until maybe we get into their uh, development streams. You'll get five gold choice packs, 20 the show packs, a ball player pack, double daily rewards, and 30,000 stubs. So if you're big on Diamond Dynasty, this is the place. If you're big on Diamond Dynasty, this is the way to start. The Captain Edition is more about the physical stuff. You'll get the steelbook case. You'll get the hat. You'll get vouchers for each of the game. You'll get your early access. But if we go back to what you're going to get in the actual game, instead of 30,000 stubs, you'll get 10,000 stubs. Instead of 20 the show packs, you'll get five. Instead of five gold choice, you'll get two. So the Captain's Edition is more for those who want the physical things rather than the stuff that are mainly used for Diamond Dynasty. And of course, as the thing says, pre-order starts on the 6th of this month. So we should probably be hearing a little bit more about this game probably around that time. However, there is one more thing that we do know. So let's go check that out. The one more thing that we know is when the tech test will start and finish. On the 15th, we will be able to do the tech test until the 21st. You can play on any of the consoles that you want to play on. And so long as you are over 18, you're free to download it and play it. Just know that when you're playing the tech test, there probably won't be too many differences in the gameplay itself. They probably will put a few different things in there that they want to test out to see whether we like it, whether we don't like it, whether they can change it or not. And of course, because people ask every year, 
You will not be able to keep the cards that you get in the tech test and bring them over to MLB The Show 23 itself. They're just giving all the cards that they can from last year for us to test things out and see if things work. One last bit of information which isn't really out there, but I think I am pretty positive in saying it, are when we're going to get the development streams. Every year they like to do it on Thursdays. So because we're going to get the early access on the 24th, I would assume that we're going to be getting those streams either from the 9th or 16th of this month all the way to the 23rd of March. Every single Thursday most likely we'll cover a different topic whether it's Diamond Dynasty, franchise, gameplay mechanics, audio, who knows. But if I had to take a wild guess, book it from either the 9th to the 23rd of March or the 16th to the 23rd of March. And if I end up being wrong, then of course I would be wrong after saying this when they've been doing it Thursdays for the past like six years. That would be my luck. But that is everything that we currently know about MLB The Show 23 so far. Hopefully we'll be getting a little bit more information soon, but that's going to end it for me. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you all enjoyed and I hope to see you guys next time.